Nancy Cordes is at the Capitol for us as usual tonight. Nancy. Scott, Republican leaders say their best shot at immigration reform in the House is to convince skeptical conservatives that border security would be the first priority. But there is still no consensus in the House about what to do, if anything, about the nation's illegal immigrants. House Speaker John Boehner sought to silence the doubters today, who say House Republicans are too divided on immigration to pass anything. The vast majority of our members do believe that we have to wrestle with this problem. But his members are also leery of the massive reform bill that passed Clerk the Senate the two weeks ago. Instead, they want to introduce a series of smaller bills, starting with the policies most popular with Republicans. Idaho Republican Raul Labrador. We want to have the security first, the border security first, and then doing something about the legal status of the people that are here. And the Senate does it backwards. Democrats fear House Republicans will never get around to the step that creates a path to citizenship for the nation's 11 million illegal immigrants. And while national GOP leaders say that's key to winning back Hispanic voters, most House Republicans don't feel that electoral pressure, in part because of redistricting. On average, Hispanics make up just 10% of the voting age population in Republican House districts, compared to 21% in Democratic districts. Republican Tom Cotton's Arkansas district is just 4% Hispanic. How important is immigration reform to your constituents? It's important, but I wouldn't say it's a high priority. Uh, they're more concerned about Obamacare and the administration's refusal to enforce that law. They're worried about spending. They're worried uh, about the debt. In fact, many House Republicans are less concerned about losing Hispanic voters than they are about the fury they could face from the right if they're seen as compromising too much on immigration. And so, Scott, that just shows you how tricky this is going to be, and it's not going to be quick. So, Nancy, the hard-fought Senate bill is dead? Not entirely. Whatever the House passes would eventually have to be married with the Senate plan in a way that both Democrats and Republicans can live with, and that's going to be a tall order, too. Nancy Cordes, thank you.